Developing tonight, two big stories stemming from the recent riots in cities like Baltimore and Ferguson, Missouri, where federal and state officials continue to, to suggest that out-of-control police departments are a major problem. President Obama today announced that he is banning the federal sale of some military surplus equipment to local police departments, arguing the move will improve relationships. He then ordered new restrictions on equipment like riot gear. While in Baltimore, where dozens of cops were recently injured by protesters, despite their protective gear, the DA in that case against those six cops, Marilyn Mosby, has now asked the court to put a gag order on the cops charged in the recent death of suspect Freddie Gray, denying them any right to talk. Let's start there. Joining me now, Judge Andrew Napolitano. He's our Fox News senior judicial analyst and a New York Times bestselling author. Judge, good to see you. She's got some nerve. Well, it's, it's, really, it's really far astray from the First Amendment for somebody in the government to try and silence her critics while she herself is free to criticize whatever she wants and to politicize That's a it. prosecution. That's the crux of it. If she hadn't said anything, go for it. They yeah. asked for a gag order, and I know you don't like them. We'll get to that. But she stood out there for 21 minutes and in great detail right. maligned these guys. A, a gag order basically says to the lawyers and the litigants in the case, you may not speak publicly about your case. The, as reprehensible as it is, if you're going to have a gag order, it's got to apply across the board to both sides. And it's a little late. It's a Correct. Little, she can't say, okay, now it applies to me, because she already had her bite at the apple. 21 minutes she stood out there and told us everything they allegedly did and why they were guilty. She basically wants a judge, the trial judge in this case, to violate the First Amendment by using his power as a judge in the government to silence people who want to criticize her. The whole purpose of the First Amendment, as everybody watching us now knows, is to encourage open, wide, robust debate about the people and the policies of the government. Mm -hmm. The concept that somebody could be silenced is reprehensible and antithetical to the values of the First Can Amendment. Can you imagine if you were representing one of those cops and you went in there to try to convince this judge? Judge, she stood up there, and there she is in a very public forum in front of the microphone and told the world exactly how my client allegedly committed murder. And now she doesn't want me as the lawyer to go on television and speak to a show here, speak to a show there to try to it, it, rebut those charges. I, I mean, on top of which, they're saying to the court, make her release the evidence. They, they have said, we want to release the evidence in the case before she gets her gag order, if she gets it. So at least we have the opportunity to say, here's what she's producing to support her charges and here's what we say about and it. You and I have been following this case and I was giving her the benefit of the doubt as you should give anybody the benefit of the doubt when they exercise the power of the government and they have to make a, a tough decision. But I am now beginning to think that she may be just a two-bit political hack who happens to have gotten elected as a prosecutor and unlike a lot of people who leave politics and enter government she still has the mindset of a politician and still believes she should use the levers of power to serve one group not to serve the concept of justice mm -hmm. to suggest that the people she has prosecuted cannot criticize her and she can criticize them is something that would delight Vladimir Putin <laughs> I don't think he's paying Look, these, attention to these, this case, these gag but... orders are awful. But yeah. whenever they were presented to me, I denied them. And sometimes I was reversed by the appellate courts and forced to enforce them in ways that I profoundly felt were unconstitutional. I mean, listen, I, I say again, if she had asked for this in the beginning, maybe. But now, after she's already gone out there, it's not fair. Judge, good to Agreed. see you. Agreed. Pleasure. Well, as we mentioned a moment ago, President Obama today traveled to Camden, New Jersey to announce a ban on the sale of some military-style hardware to local police departments. And he restricted the use of some other equipment like riot gear. Kevin Jackson is a conservative radio host and author of Race Pimping. And Richard Fowler is a nationally syndicated radio host. Guys, good to see you. So the president says basically that these cops don't need it and shouldn't be trusted with it. And the administration points to places like Ferguson as evidence of that. Your thoughts on it, Kevin? What a joke. I mean, look, Barack Obama should just make the cops uh, use rubber bullets and take off their, their flag jackets and send, or send them out butt naked for all intents and purposes. He's not trying to protect these guys. This is yet again a politicization of the police force in towns, and I'm going to use Baltimore as more of an example, where crime is running rampant, 370 percent above the national average for violent crime. And that's not true of just Baltimore, Megan. That's true of everywhere. And Barack Obama wants to make this about police over-policing. That's, and that's not even what happened in Ferguson or Baltimore, where they told these guys to stand down. 
Richard, the, the cops are not happy. Uh, the head of the, the FOP has come out and said, this is going to hurt law enforcement. Why would you deprive them of tools like riot gear that they need? And we've seen in recent days they do need. Well, I don't know when the FOP is ever happy, Megan, but let's here's the truth. I reported from both Ferguson as well as from Baltimore. And what I could say is this use of excessive force, it, it's really reached a tipping point in this country. I mean, you look at some of the places that have bought some of these MRAPs, which are these, you know, mine resistant vehicles. First of all, there are no landmines anywhere in the United States, but or Orange County has four MRAPs. The Morgan County, Alabama, with a with a population of a hundred thousand, has two MRAPs. They just don't need this type of equipment to do correct good policing. Mm -hmm. Good policing requires community conversations, working with the community to eradicate crime, and get taking criminals off the street. None of those includes MRAPs. None of those includes tear gassing Americans. This is not a war zone. Ramadi is a war zone. What about that, Kevin? Because you look at the equipment that they're prohibiting, and it's like these MRAPs that he, he refers to, um, weaponized aircraft, bayonets, grenade launchers. I mean, do the cops really need all that? They, they may not need it, but you know what? So in why the give event it to them, that Kevin? They, 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 that in the event that they do, I would rather that they have it. What I'll tell you is this. When you talk about riot gear, lack of, lack of something as simple as riot gear, there are cops in Baltimore, cops in New York that, have been, that were hurt, certainly in Baltimore. There are cops being but killed, being Kevin, ambushed. And, 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 and you, can, you. you can talk about finish. the type, Richard, no, well, then don't. You can talk about the type of materials that they're using. Have they used any of these, mater of, of these weapons? No. Yes, so I'd rather have. that they have them than not have them. <laughs> They've used MRAPs both well, in where Baltimore did they use, where did they as use well as MRAP? Ferguson, and there's no landmines. There's no need for an MRAP, which is what the but president let me ask you about that, Richard. Okay, so as I asked Kevin whether they really need these these uh, the equipment, my question to you is: Remember what we saw in Baltimore, where they were throwing concrete, huge slabs of concrete at the heads of the cops and the firefighters as they drove by to try to protect the community? I mean, I'd rather be in one of those MRAPs if that were coming at me than exposed <laughs> in an open vehicle. No, there's no listen. There's no question that nobody's condoning the violence that happened in Baltimore. But I think the point here is: is if the Baltimore police oh, department? Oh yeah, there is somebody condoning. Well, let Wait, me, let let me finish. finish, Kevin. If the Baltimore Police Department had worked with the community and had community conversations, it would never have gotten to this point. Okay, that's great. I love that utopia. But what, when utopia what, what starts nonsense. unraveling, don't well, look, you want to be in the protected vehicle? I will give vehicle. you a great example. Kathy Lanier, the chief of police exactly. in Washington, D.C., she didn't have to do any of that. <laughs> And her, the P, D.C. No, is look, an urban look, area just like end, Baltimore, the end of the day, they don't have the these type of, the day, of problems. Megan, Megan, at the end of the day, this is subterfuge for exactly what's happening in all these urban indoctrination centers where blacks, and particularly Democrats, are always in charge. They're always looking to blame somebody else for the problems that they create. This is not a cop problem. Yeah, that's ludicrous, it's not a problem Kevin. with the types of... That's of, ludicrous. Of, it's not a problem with the types of... You of, cannot it's tell not me the problem that it's okay to see tanks rolling down, down the street. I gotta go. I'll give you the last line. Richard, anywhere. committing crime. I'll give you the last line, Richard. Go ahead. It's a problem listen, with people. Here's the thing. If your name is not Richard, you are not called on. <laughs> Megan, here's the thing. Nobody <laughs> wants to see tanks rolling down the streets of America. We are seeing that, and that's why the president is speaking out I don't mind seeing tanks. Tonight. All right, guys. I got to go. Good to I see you I don't mind both. seeing tanks. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll leave it at that.